What is up YouTube thrift school over here outside of the thrift store. We are gonna head inside I haven't been here in about a month It's been quite a while since I've been inside of any thrift store, so I'm excited I'm hoping we find some cool stuff today. I have no idea what I'm getting into it looks really packed today So that could be a good sign or a bad sign. I don't really know. <laughs> Hopefully there's not too many resellers it looks like 75% off of everything that's white tagged, 50% off everything that's blue and red tagged. So I definitely want to look for that. You can see all these books on my right hand side. They all have green tags on them. So I'm not very confident in finding anything with a red, white, or blue tag on them. And you can see we have lots of yellows here, <laughs> nothing super special. And normally they keep the video games up front here and I'm not seeing any, which is kind of odd. Oh, wait, I spot a Sims 3 used PC game. Uh, I don't really like to sell used PC games, especially the Sims, because they have a code inside. And if the code's not there, if the code's been used too many times, you can't play the game usually. And I get lots of returns like that. I uh, found one little carnival games there. I find a few games hidden around. So I think this is how this thrift store is going to do it now. They're just going to mix in the video games with the DVDs kind of a pain kind of makes it harder to find but I guess that helps me because normally everybody would just come into the store the video games are the first thing you see so they're the first thing picked through now maybe some more gems will slip through the cracks so you know I'm finding some cool things here I'm gonna pull out my phone and actually scan some stuff into Amazon and it's doing an update an automatic update in my pocket so I can't scan anything let me walk around the store then see if I find anything that sticks out to me like this snow globe right here I have sold so many Disney snow globes over the years guys definitely keep an eye out for them this is kind of a small one I stick it in the car because it looked great to me but upon further inspection the inside of the snow globe was broken uh, they were like detached from the base so that's something I don't want to sell online Moving over to the toys, there are so many board games and so many toys at this thrift store and at lots of thrift stores in Connecticut, to be honest. That's where I'm located in Connecticut. And one little tip I want to give you guys when looking at board games and other games, I always look for kind of off-branded brands <laughs> so to be more specific that clue game that i picked up was sherlock they have spongebob monopoly star wars risk right trying to find brands within brands to sell they usually go for good money this Yu-Gi-Oh puzzle was so cool uh i decided i didn't want to count the pieces so i did end up putting it back it was only worth about 25 bucks same thing with this titanic game it, only three dollars to buy and it was so cool it looked like a clue type game i almost wish i got it for myself it's from 1998 never seen this before but again it only sells for about 25 30 bucks on ebay and it doesn't sell very fast so eh, it is what it is now here's another thing that i was mentioning right the game operation here is a hulk operation so it's a brand within a brand these things sell great this specific one can sell upwards of $40, $50. It's really insane what some of that stuff goes for. <laughs> Look at this cool lightsaber here. This is an actual vintage one, I believe from 1990 something. I can't really remember. And uh, I looked it up on eBay. It's only selling for about 10, 15 bucks. So sadly I put it back. Taking a look at the electronics section, we have a GameCube for $40. It is beat up, there's no cords, as is, is circled on the sticker. $40, what are they thinking? To the right of the GameCube though, we have a Nintendo Wii, as is, is also circled on this, which isn't a good sign. But for 15 bucks, it does have the AV cables, no power cord, no controller, but I have lots of spare controllers and power cords at my house, like a lot of them. Um, I'm looking inside here and I notice an SD card, 16 gigabyte SD card. Now there might be a game hidden in here. When we take this home, guys, at the end of this video, let's test that Wii and see if a hidden game is inside. I love playing that game. Uh, taking a look at more electronics, I find the Sony DVD VCR combo with the remote awesome. $20 seems a little high, but trust me, guys, these things can go for great 
money. They have so many electronics here to go through. I can't go through every single one. I don't have the space for every single one, but I'm just kind of glancing. Their prices are getting kind of high. You notice there's like $40 DVD players over here, $50 uh, turntable down below. It's just kind of crazy. None of this stuff is tested here. They do not uh, offer returns here. So it makes it really tough when you don't have all the components to test something. Uh, like this connect right here, it, I thought it might be decent at $15. I flipped it over and there were like dead bugs and dirt and grime on the bottom of it. So I left it behind. Guys, here is something so special. You won't believe it unless you've heard the news. But Dr. Seuss has had six books canceled. Canceled, right? You can't get them anymore. They're ending the print runs. I found one of the six in like mint condition. I could not believe I found this. At the time of filming this, that book right now was selling for about $4 or $5 shipped yesterday. It is selling for over $300 at the moment. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find any others here because if I can find a few more of these canceled books, we're looking at hundreds and hundreds of dollars of potential profit and all these children books only sell for 99 cents each year so that's a great deal and i find a little stack of dr who dr seuss books down here horton here's a who how the grinch stole christmas um happy birthday to you none of these are the canceled ones so nothing good there wait i found another ah cat in the hat nope not canceled okay we'll leave that there uh, I'm going to head to the line. You can see how big this thrift store is. It's absolutely massive. I'm going to uh, take all this stuff home, guys. We're going to go through it all, and I'm going to show you guys what everything is worth. Let's go. All right, guys, we are back at the house. This is everything I picked up at the thrift store. Um, I just want to go over it all with you guys and pull up prices, flash them up here on the screen so you guys can see what this stuff is going for. First things first, the huge thing, this DVD VCR combo, $20 is kind of a lot to pay, but it came with the remote and that totally helps, okay? So whenever I'm selling these things on Amazon, I always have to include the remote and I have to include AV cables. Now, there were no AV cables with this, so I couldn't fully test it. I plugged it in, pressed all the buttons, everything seemed fine, but this has me nervous. They circled as is. Now, whenever that is circled at this thrift store, they believe there's something wrong with it, but I have bought so many electronics over the years from this thrift store with that circled and have not had an issue. Hopefully this is the same sort of situation. I really don't know. Uh, I kind of took a shot in the dark. They do not do refunds here. So worst comes to worst, I could always sell the remote for something. So that's cool. Um, but I kind of took a little bit of a gamble on this. But you guys see it's selling for $200. That is crazy. 200 bucks for this. Now it's big and heavy. I got to use a lot of bubble wrap. I actually bought special boxes for DVD VCR combos that are just a little bit bigger than all of them. So I could wrap them in bubble wrap, put them in a box, and then put that box into my Amazon shipment so nothing happens to these. All right. Now, for another huge score you guys saw in the store, I found this on Beyond Zebra. So Dr. Seuss just canceled a whole bunch of books and people are freak buying them all because once they're gone, they're gone, I guess. Kind of with memorabilia and just things that are out of print. So a bunch of these got canceled. I found one. Uh, 99 cents is what I paid. I listed it in line at the store. And you guys can see right here, it has already sold. It sold before I even got home for $350. Insane. Great flip right there. I checked a couple other Goodwills near me. Couldn't find any more of these books. So I don't think that they're super common, but I'm just glad I found this one at least. So $350 I already made ended up being a great trip. So we're at $350, uh, $450, $550. So we're over $500 in sales right here. Let's keep going. And guys, I only spent $52, $51.99 on all of this stuff. We got a flash pad 3.0. I sell these well all the time. This is the red model. It says it's red right there. We got a little red logo there and the red ones in the front, which means it's the red model. Um, this thing I tested and fully worked. 
$3, I sell these for around $40 to $50 on Amazon. So there's another, let's just say 50 bucks uh, in sales. This isn't including fees, so we're at about 600 bucks. We got this Quick Cups game. It's actually brand new sealed. I believe people passed up on it because it doesn't have plastic wrap on it. But this game is sealed via right here, little pieces of tape there and there. And I've seen it like that multiple times when it's new. So this is brand new. I paid $2 for this and it's selling for $25 on Amazon. Now we have a couple really cool things in here. This Cluedo Sherlock edition. So I didn't count all the pieces in here. Got to make sure they're all in here, but this game I only paid $2 for and there are none on Amazon. One has sold on eBay for about $35 or so plus shipping. And the ones listed right now are listed for much more. So I don't know what I can get for this. Conservatively on Amazon, I'm assuming 40 bucks, but I'm gonna shoot for the moon, try like a hundred or something. I don't know. Uh, still though, pretty sweet. Conservatively, 40 more dollars right there. And then the last, nope, not the last thing. We got lots more in there. We got this Operation Hulk and I have yet to find an operation game with all the pieces. So I don't know if all the pieces are in here, but the price was right at a buck 99. I took the gamble and I don't remember what this is going for. So I'm going to look it up right now. Here it is on Amazon. You could see use condition $45. You'll make 32 bucks after fees. Not bad there. Uh, $2 buy cost, turning it into a $45 sale after fees, after I paid for it, about $30 profit. If all the pieces are in there, let's hope they are. All right, we got a few more really cool things. This right here, another gamble, guys. I got a Nintendo Wii for 15 bucks. It says as is, so we have no idea if it works or not. Uh, it doesn't have the power cord, but I do have power cords here. So what I'm gonna do right now is plug it into the wall and press the button and see if a game comes out. Normally you could see like the shimmer of a game in there if a game's in here. So I doubt there's one in here, but you never know. Let me go grab a power brick. All right, so I just plugged it in over my bananas and it is on, so that's good. We will press the power button. Sounds good. Doubt there's a game in here, but let's open it. No game, okay. So, try one more time. Yeah, no game, but one cool little bonus there was a SD card in here, an SD card, and it has 16 gigabytes. So we got a 16 gigabyte SD card. So that's kind of nice. Nice little throw in, pop that back in there. Okay, cool. So it seems to be fine, to be honest. I believe as is, because it's missing this plastic piece up here. I actually buy these pieces in bulk on eBay, dirt cheap. I pay probably a buck a piece for these things just about and I buy them in big quantities. They click right back in and then it looks as good as new. So I assume this works fine. All the buttons are working. Power button. If I hold it, should go like orange. There we go. Red, red, orange, whatever. So works fine. Pretty sweet for 15 bucks. I sell these on Amazon bundled with Wii Sports for like 100 to $125. So great score there. We got a few more goodies in this bag right here. Let's reach in and grab them. And I think, yep, that's it. Okay, this is turning into be a phenomenal haul. Almost $1,000. Right here, we have this. I just thought it was cool. Never seen anything like it. It's like a Smithsonian, Smithsonian dinosaur tablet. Let's explore the strange world of dinosaurs. Right, that's pretty dope. What about the, uh, where's a Velociraptor? There he is. Velociraptor. Pretty cool. Let's learn some fun facts. Okay, we're not gonna go through all that, but 99 cents, pretty sweet. I looked it up, couldn't find the exact one on Amazon, but I checked eBay and I found them. They're selling for like 20, $25. So paid 99 cents for it. Should be a quick, easy sale. And now we have three DVDs. So there were a few DVD resellers there. I saw people scanning the movies, scanning everything. And I came in and I just went off of my memory. So I've sold this before, this Pio over on eBay. Paid 99 cents, it's like a workout DVD set. And they, they don't sell for a lot, maybe 15 bucks or so, but it's quick and easy, so I don't mind that. I've never seen this before, so that's what I do. When I go into the DVD section, this is used, right? This is opened, 
Disc is in really good shape. Everything's really clean, but I've never heard of it. So looked it up and this thing's selling pretty well. I'll pop the price up here on the screen. It was, I believe over $20 and I paid $1 for it. And the last thing, also something I've never seen before, Beast from 20,000 Fathoms for 99 cents. I might watch this tonight. This looks pretty cool. I actually think I'm going to watch this tonight because it looks so cool. And look at that, clean disc. That's good, everything is in great shape. And this is another one where I'm not gonna make a lot of money, but I believe it was selling for around 15, 20 bucks. Pop it up on, on the screen right here for you guys. But great scores, I'm super happy about that. Quick little impromptu haul over here on the kitchen counter. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I think this is gonna be pretty close to a thousand dollars. You know, we got like 100 here. 200, 300, I already sold the book for four, five, 650, um, 700, 725, 770-ish, mm, about 800, uh, 820, 840, 850, 868, 70, so it's about 850 to $900 in sales from that one thrift store, almost 900 bucks. I actually went a little low on this for saying 100. I might be able to get 125, uh, 130, somewhere around there. So probably closer to $900 in sales. I was in there for about an hour. Pretty sweet, super happy about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.